All right, I got the head off. Um, first thing I'm going to do is uh, take my tool here and uh, start removing the hydraulic lifters. Okay, it's just a matter of uh, pulling them out. Okay, and just check them. Should have some uh, sponginess there. I'm just going to want to set them off to the side for right now. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter which way they come in or out. Okay, so you can see they're both the same. They say three, four, six, five, one, zero on both of them, and take in the exhaust. Okay, and then once you get down in there, you can see the top of the actual valves. Okay. You're going to want to get your valve tool out. Okay, this is the size for the top of the, the uh, spring. I'm going to go on here. Once that goes down in here, there's a couple of retainers down in there you got to get to. And what you're going to want to do is get a uh, little screwdriver or something. I forgot to bring out my uh, sutures. I got sutures that will go down inside here. And I will show you that in just a second. Alright, I really took my angle here so you can see what I'm doing. Down inside of here, there's a couple of uh, little clips. Okay, there's one. Here's the other one. And what they do is they hold the top of the valve on. Okay, I don't know if you can see them. But uh, once you get that done, you can back this back off.
the spring's going to come out. Okay, so the spring. And the valve should just push right through the bottom. Okay, that was a bent one. You can see it's sort of a... It's not really square. Got a little bit of a taper to it. Put these clips set right in there. Okay, and then when the spring pushes up onto them, that's all it holds them in place. <coughs> okay, so that's that one there. Once you get it all apart, you're going to want to make sure that it's not cracked or anything. I'm going to put the new valve in. Okay, this was the uh, intake side. Actually, that was an exhaust side, sorry. Exhaust side. Which are your smaller valves. I'm going to go back down there and I'm going to take some uh, valve grinding compound i got to get that here and once that valve grinding compound goes in there I'm just going to set here get good suction on this and actually rotate it in there so it'll fit down on there and it'll score that surface match it to this and I'll have a good clean seal Okay, and that's it for right now. I'll come back after I get this all done. Thanks. Bye. All right, all I'm doing is put a little bit of the uh, valve grinding compound on here. Okay, I'm working on this. I've been doing this for a couple minutes now. Um, what you're gonna do is put a little bit of that compound on there. Notice how it uh, takes the shininess off the edge of the valve. I don't know if you can see it. This is the one I did. Makes it like a light gray color. Also down in here, you notice that all the uh, carbon has gone away. And that actually seats this valve down in there. So when I put it back together, it'll be a good, good positive seal. And then it's just a matter of putting it all back together. You want to do that 16 times. Um, I'm going to make sure all this is clear of debris and we'll clean it up after I get all the valves done. Uh, lots of people clean them up before they do the valves, but I've been there with grinding compound and stuff, so I just feel it's a double, double effort. Um, just check, make sure that all your seats are good. All right. And I will talk to you in a bit.